Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at how to fix the annoying problem of the black screen in Windows at the end when you're trying to restart your computer and it just says updates are underway and it wants to stay there forever. There potentially is a fix, keep watching to find out how. Okay, so like I said in the uh, intro there, today we're gonna to take a look at the Windows update, or basically when your PC gets to a point where you get a black screen on shutdown, and when you're trying to either restart or shut down or after a Windows update, and you get a black screen and it says, updates are underway, please keep your computer on. Now for some people, if you have got the ability to, the best thing to do is to just let the computer stay on for a couple of hours. Now obviously that is a huge waste of electricity, time, resources, etc, etc, so not everybody wants to do that, but in quite a lot of cases that actually does fix the problem, so if you are one of those lucky people that has the ability to do that, then certainly do give that a try first of all. The other option is to actually do some tweaks in the registry, delete a couple of keys, and uh, for me it's actually worked. Now, obviously your mileage may vary, so do take that with um, the warning as intended. This may or may not fix your problem. It may be something else a little bit more deeper rooted. I personally have tried many other things before doing this, such as uh, check disk, system file checker, DISMs, loads of different things, uh, undoing, rolling back updates, etc., etc. And it still persists this annoying thing where the system just won't shut down properly or will not restart. So that led me to search into the registry and just try to remove some of the flags which actually prevent Windows from shutting down which has actually worked for me. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you what you need to do. Also as well, before we do this, there is gonna be instructions in the video description. So if you don't wanna watch the rest of the video, just copy and paste the stuff from the video underneath. And yeah, you should be absolutely fine. Obviously, like I said, this may or may not work for you. Back up your registry, that is very important. And if you can do a backup of your system, just in case, it's always worth doing that. I actually did do a backup. I do a daily backup with the Synology Active Backup for Business. And eventually after tweaking around and messing around, I decided, I was just gonna roll back because I installed a dev version of Windows 11 to try and fix it, which didn't help and you can't roll back from that. So I did actually end up doing a restore, a bare metal restore on my system. But anyway, you don't wanna know about that. There will be a video on that, so keep tuned for that. But let's get on with it on the computer. Okay, so I've got the instructions up on the screen here. This will be also in the video description, like I said. So you wanna open up uh, the registry editor. Let's do reg edit and click on that. You'll get the uh, user account control come up. Obviously just click on okay. You won't be seeing that because I'm uh, doing this with OBS just to make life easier. So you can kind of do this in reverse operation if you want to. The bottom bit here, this is one of the keys which is actually quite important if it is Windows Update causing the problem. So the key to search for is HKEY Local Machines Software, Microsoft Windows, current version, Windows Update, Auto update reboot required. So as you can see, I've checked for that one here and there is the auto update folder in the registry. And currently as it stands, there are no additional registry entries in there. So the reboot required, uh, see, there is no value set currently. If yours is, again, best thing to do is to kind of right click and then you can delete it. Obviously do do a backup of your registry before you do that just in case. So you can always restore it back should you need to. So that is something you can do first of all. Uh, the other way of doing it, which I find actually worked much better for me, is if you go right the way back up to the top, click on computer. So you start at the top and for the search purposes, go over to edit and do find. And then we wanna find a specific key. And the one is at the top here. So I'm gonna copy and paste that as I suggest you do from the video description. So we're gonna do copy that and paste it in here. So the actual key we're looking for is pending file rename operations. Now this seems to be the one which is causing the problems. So all you need to do is click on find next and it'll go through search for the registry from the top until it finds a suitable registry key with that pending file name operations in it. Could take a while because it is gonna search through the entire registry and depending on the speed of your computer, etc. But we'll keep on going until it finds one, which hopefully it will do. And there we go. So we found one already. So this is in the uh, backup restore and keys not to restore pending file name operations, which is uh, current control set. So what I do is basically just delete it. So right click, choose delete. 
and we'll get rid of that now. So it says, um, yes, do you want to permanently delete this value? We're gonna say yes. And then you can use the F3 key to search for more entries. So I'm gonna tap F3 and there's another one there. So we're gonna highlight it again, click on delete F3. That's it. So there were only two entries in there. So now we've got rid of those. You may have more, uh, potentially up to kind of five or six of them. Just delete all of them. Like I said earlier, before you start this, I would suggest doing a export of the registry, save it to your desktop or somewhere safe so you can actually uh, re-import all the keys should you need to. So that is for backing up your registry. But that essentially is it. So now when you turn off the PC, you should find that it shuts down normally. Uh, if not, then obviously there is something else going on and feel free to join our Discord and we'll try and help you out further if we can. So there we go, pretty simple. And actually when I worked out what the key actually was, which was causing the problem, it was such a relief, it really was. And I spent quite literally, well, hours bordering on days trying to resolve this problem. It was super annoying. Every single time the PC was shutting down, black screen had to press the power button or press the reset switch to do a, like a, a forced reboot, which is uh, never a good thing, because obviously you can get extra file corruption, so it's best if you can to fix it. Ideally, the best thing to do is make sure you have a decent backup plan in order, and if you do get these things, just uh, you can revert your machine. System restore doesn't always do such a great job, because effectively it's just a kind of registry snap. So taking a hardware backup of your machine, ideally on a daily basis, is a really good thing to do. If you want to see how to do that, we've used programs such as Macrium in the past, which uh, we'll link a video as well in the video description, so it's probably worth installing that and having a dedicated backup of your system anyway, just to prevent these sorts of things happening. But obviously, if you haven't got a backup, then you can go ahead and try the registry fixes and hopefully that will do it for you. So there you go, some potential uh, lifelines there, should you need them. If you've got any comments or questions, stick them in the comment section below. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then hit that subscribe button and the chime notification and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.